Dear students, in this video, I am going to explain LCR series and parallel circuit viva question and answer. So, for any experiment, the preferred viva questions are A, uh, apparatus required for the particular experiment and a formula and the basic principle behind that experiment. So, from there only I am going to start. So, LCR series and parallel circuit is here the aim of the experiment, what we are going to find out to study the resonance effect in series and parallel circuit. Actually, we are going to perform two circuits, series and parallel LCR circuits. After that, we are going to determine resonance frequency, which is represented by FR and bandwidth delta F and the quality factor Q. Okay, so these are the terms we are going to find out. Okay, so this is the aim of the experiment. Next, what are the apparatus required for this experiment? LCR trainer kit. Actually, the kit consists of inductor, capacitor, resistor and milliameter. So, the trainer kits includes these four things. Inductor, capacitor, resistor and ammeter. Apart from that, we need function generator and connecting wires that is patch cords. So, these are all the apparatus required to perform this experiment. Next, what is the formula required for this experiment? So, first, actually, already I said we are going to perform series and a parallel circuit. Okay, so that the resonant frequency will be changed for the series and parallel circuit. For a series, FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of LC. Okay, here L and C inductance and the capacitance value and the same resonant frequency for parallel circuit is 1 by 2 pi into 1 by LC minus R by L whole square. Okay, so these are the formulas we have to remember to perform this experiment. So to calculate the resonant frequency. Okay, so R is the resistance, L is the inductance, C is the capacitance. Uh, resistance will be measured in terms of ohm and the inductance in milli Henry, that is 10 power minus 3 Henry. Okay, and then capacitance in microfarad. Micro means 10 power minus 6 farad, right? So, these are the formulas required to find the resonant frequency in series and parallel LCR circuit. Next one is bandwidth. Delta F is equal to F2 minus F1. Difference between the lower cutoff and upper cutoff frequency. And quality factor Q is equal to F4 divided by delta F. That is resonant frequency divided by bandwidth gives the quality factor. So these are the four formulas we are going to use to discuss the resonant frequency in series and parallel bandwidth and quality factor. These are the formulas used for this experiment. Right. Actually, in this experiment, we are using resistor, capacitor and the inductor. So, this sheet will help you to understand what is the three uh, equipments. First, a resistor is a device which opposes the flow of current. Its function is to oppose the flow of current. Capacitor, actually, it is a device which stores charges in electric field. Okay, and the inductor, it is a device which stores charges in magnetic field. So, capacitor and the inductor are used for the same purpose, but in different field it stores the charges, right? And resistance, resistor means device. And what is resistance? It's the ability of the resistor, okay? So, resistance is defined as the property of a resistor to resist the flow of current, how much it resists, that the ability can be explained by the resistance. Here, capacitance. Capacitance is the ability of the system to store an electric charge, how much it can store, that is the capacitance of the capacitor. And the inductance, the same, in, is the ability of the system to store charge in magnetic field. Okay, so now. Uh, first one is what is resistor and the second one is resistance here. Capacitor, capacitance, inductor, inductance. And the third step is what is the unit to measure the resistor. So unit is ohm here and here for farad, multiples of farad we will use. Actually in this experiment we use micro farad. And the next for inductor, the inductance, the unit is Henry. So milli Henry we will use in this experiment, right? And what is the symbol to represent in the circuit? So resistor will be represented by the zigzag line in the circuit and the capacitor is two parallel lines. Okay, and the symbol of for inductor is the coil of wire. Okay, so these are the symbols. Next, 
the resistance offered by the resistor so based on the ohms law what is ohms law v is equal to i into r from this resistance r is equal to v by i so this v i am going to represent as vr that is voltage across the resistor okay in that same way if we come to capacitor and inductor it should be represent the resistance offered by the capacitor and inductor when it is connected to the ac power supply it is called a reactance okay instead of using the term resistance we are going to use the term reactance so if it is the uh, it, this reactance is produced by capacitor then it is called capacitive reactance okay and if it is produced by inductor then it is called inductive reactance inductive reactance so the reactance will be referred by the, that means represented by the letter x so for capacitance it is xc for inductance it will be xl okay so xc is equal to vc by i voltage across current divided by i which should be equal to 1 by omega c so omega is the angular frequency 2 pi f and the c is the capacitance value in the same way here uh, xl can be written as vl by r I, that is voltage across inductor divided by current which should be equal to omega into l so omega is the angular frequency 2 pi f into l right so xc and xl these are the important terms for this experiment and in case of resistor current and voltage will be in phase with each other okay but when we come to capacitor voltage is lagging behind the current by pi by 2 that is 90 degree voltage is lagging behind the current but here in case of inductor voltage is leading current by pi by 2 right so these are the basic informations we must know to perform this experiment so next question what will happen if both capacitor or inductor are connected in a circuit for example this is the capacitor and this is the inductor this is c and this is l if this two are connected like this what will happen the energy will be traded back and forth between capacitor and the inductor so the energy will be traded back and forth like this so that it produce it um, creates the oscillation in the circuit okay so it will be used in radio receiver now you read this when a capacitor and an inductor are connect or combined in a single circuit the energy can be traded back and forth between them at any given time okay this leads to oscillations in the circuit example is radio receiver right and next what is meant by resonance because in this experiment we are going to study the resonance effect so we must know what is meant by resonance it is the phenomenon in which the frequency of applied signal becomes equal to the frequency of the circuit actually the circuit is nothing but lcr right so inductor and then capacitor and then resistor will be there so this will be connected to the signal generator right so this is the circuit so the frequency of the circuit is equal to the frequency the applied frequency okay is equal to the applied frequency so when this two are becoming equal that time that condition is called resonance condition what is the resonance condition applied frequency is equal to the frequency of the circuit then the condition is called resonance next what is the condition for resonance to get the resonance what the condition actually previously we have discussed the inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance so inductive reactance is xl should be equal to capacitive reactance xc when this two are equal that time the resonance will takes place so the resistance will be offered only by the resistor so that we will get the maximum current in that case so resonant condition is nothing but xl should be equal to xc right and what is resonant frequency so after that means in this experiment for series we will get the maximum current and for parallel we will get the minimum current so at a particular frequency the maximum current at particular frequency the minimum current so the maximum or minimum current occurs at particular frequency in the circuit is known as resonant frequency so here this is the resonant frequency and here this is the resonant frequency this is for series and this is for parallel okay so this is called the resonant frequency right next what is bandwidth okay so bandwidth in the sense 
for series this is the maximum current okay so here i maximum divided by root 2 so this frequency is the lower cut off frequency and this frequency is the upper cut off frequency so the different the range of applied frequencies between which the resonance takes place here only the resonant frequency is there right this is the resonant frequency so this frequency is f1 and this is f2 okay the range of applied frequencies between which the resonance takes place or otherwise it is the difference between higher cut off frequency and the lower cut off frequency so higher is f2 lower is f1 so that f2 minus f1 is the bandwidth delta f right next question is what is quality factor so from the name we can understand clearly this factor represents what is the quality of the circuit okay it gives the quality of the circuit so the definition definition wise it is the ratio between resonant frequency divided by bandwidth resonant frequency is fr and the bandwidth is delta f so by getting this ratio we will get that quality factor right and the next what is impedance so impedance is nothing but overall opposition given to the circuit by means of components okay so here it is the ratio between maximum voltage value to the current value actually v is equal to ir right this is the ohm's law formula so r is equal to v by i here r is the resistance only offered by resistor but z is the the overall opposition offered by all the components so that v max divided by i value so this z is called the impedance it is the opposition that an electronic component circuit or system offers to alternating or direct electric current okay so z is equal to v max divided by i the same formula only but here resistance here it is called impedance okay so impedance means offered by all the components to the alternating current next why lcr series circuit is called acceptor circuit because the impedance is minimum so already i said in series circuit we get graph like this free that means we, here we will get the maximum current i max so current is maximum in the sense formula is z is equal to v max divided by i so i is maximum in the sense impedance will be minimum that is what here mentioned impedance is minimum at resonant frequency okay this is the resonant frequency at resonant frequency impedance is minimum so to accept the current easily okay such that the frequency of the accepted current is equal to resonant frequency the current will be maximum in this case in this case the current will be maximum that is the reason it is called acceptor the current will be easily accepted that's what it is called acceptor and the next question is why parallel circuit is called rejector circuit what is the parallel circuit uh, graph we will get like this so minimum so here current will be minimum current is minimum in the sense here current is maximum impedance is minimum right here current is minimum so automatically impedance will be maximum so the circuit comprising of a capacitor and an inductor connected parallel to each other having the values chosen such that the combination offers very high impedance that's what i said maximum impedance very high impedance to the signals so it rejects that's what it is called a rejector circuit next what is the relation between impedance and the current already we have discussed this part z is equal to v by i both are inversely proportional to each other if impedance is minimum then current will be maximum that is for series if impedance is maximum current will be minimum that is the case for parallel circuit okay what is the status of current in series and parallel connection for series current will be maximum and for parallel current will be minimum what is capacitive reactance and inductive reactance already i discussed about this that is xc and xl it is the form of opposition that electronic components exhibit to the passage of alternating current okay so if it is offered by capacitor it is called a capacitive reactance if it is offered by inductor then it is called inductive reactance okay the opposition offered by capacitor to the 
alternating current okay that is called the reactance next what is mean by frequency frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second so frequency of alternating current signal is the number of cycles in a single second that is per second okay and it is measured in the unit hertz okay why current in lcr circuit is maximum at resonance and minimum in parallel lcr circuit as you know well about the impedance only so here for series the impedance is minimum so current will be maximum in case of parallel the impedance is maximum current will be minimum next what is the use of resonant frequency it is very important viva question what is the use of resonant frequency so this uh, can be used as tuning circuit in radio or transmitter circuits so if you want to choose the channel we can use this resonant frequency that's what the application of resonant frequency explain capacitor and inductor so capacitors and inductors are electronic components that can store energy supplied by the voltage sources okay capacitor stores electric field stores in an electric field and inductor stores in magnetic field already i discussed about it when a capacitor is connected to voltage source its voltage gradually increases current gradually decreases okay it will be reverse for inductor what is that when the inductor is connected to voltage source current gradually increases voltage gradually decreases so these are the questions which is related to lcr circuit please go through that if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you everyone